Hello, Hannah. It's Tudor Leonto for ComingSoon.net. Congrats on your latest movie. You have experience you. both as an actress and a director. How these experiences influence each other in the making of Don't Make Me Go? Uh, well, hi. <laughs> Hello. Um, <laughs> they inform each other a lot. Uh, I found that being an actor has made me a better director, just have a lot of respect for the process um, and want to be as supportive as possible to uh, to the actors on the project. But being a director has also made me a better actor, I think, because I, I really understand now what goes on behind the scenes and how important it is to be open-minded and collaborative. So um, I'm, I'm glad that both uh, both careers can feed each other. Your movie takes us into the secret world of teenagers. Mm -hmm. It always seems there is a sort of incommunicability between adults and teenagers. We can see that even the, in the relationship between Max and Wally. What's the best way to portray this generational gap? Well, I think for me, when I first read the script, I was really relating to Wally so much because I was closer in her age when I first was sent the script. And uh, I really connected to her choices and understood where she was coming from. And then as I got a bit older and grew with the material and the movie finally came to fruition, I was relating more and more to Max and Max's more responsible perspective. So I think it's just about realizing that we've all been in both positions and um, that's part of life, changing our perspective. The story follows a single father dealing with a brain tumor. How did you find the balance between being forced to live with a fatal condition and the need to leave a message of hope? Yeah, I think it's a tricky one, but the truth is we all experience our own hardships and our own um, problems in life. That's normal. We can't escape that. So I think to try to brush over that type of thing in a movie is just not real and you can't have you can't have joy without without some sadness. The I learned that from the movie Inside Out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer. Yes. <laughs> the characters who live for a journey are never the same ones when they return home. The journey forces them to face their fears and in doing so to mature. In your opinion, what's the most crucial moment in Max and Wally's journey? Oh, probably. I mean, I know this is a spoiler, but probably when Wally crashes the car, it's like everything comes to a head in that moment. All of this unspoken tension between them has finally been spoken, and now they get to really be honest with each other, and that's really catapulted by this, this accident that they get in. It's like there's nothing to lose anymore. Yeah, thank you for your answers. And, of course, it re also relates, you know, uh, with the incommunicability between the two protagonists, at least at the beginning. Mm. Well, yeah, thank you for thank you for watching and taking the time. Have a nice one.